Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to shave down my standard poodle's face. Um, this is Jolie and today I'm going to shave down her face with a number 10 blade. Um, she's an apricot poodle so I want to avoid using a number 30 blade as I feel like the 30 um, usually gives her razor burn and just um, it's too close of a shave for her. So an apricot poodle or a white poodle, you wanna avoid using a number 30 blade. Um, I would stick with the number 10. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that she's all brushed out, your pet is all brushed out, which she is, but I'm gonna make sure one more time that she's all brushed out. So I'll go and I'll make sure all the curls are nice and brushed out, even around her face and around her bottom here. And I never let her hair get this quite this long, but you know, we actually ended up moving and, um, and she was not uh, groomed for like skip the grooming. So, so go ahead and brush out their face like that. Good. There you go, Jolie. Okay, make sure it's nice and soft and easy to come off. Um, so now we're going to start, we're going to start with like behind the ear, we're going to start here, make sure her ear is out of the way, put on our clippers and use our number 10 blade and our wall clippers. And I'm going to go ahead and start the shape. So start here behind her ear and come forward. Be very careful around the eyes. Eyes, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a line straight from the side, the bottom of the ear here, straight across to the corner of her eye. So yes, you see. What you're gonna do is straight from the back of the ear towards the corner of the eye and you just keep pulling it forward. And she's going to close her eye for me right there. She's pretty good about that. She keeps her eyes shut for me as I come back forward. Try to avoid ever going this way because then you can go into the eye and you might hurt her or hurt your dog. So never, never, never go the opposite direction. Always go away and back towards her nose. Good. You can pull the skin this way a little bit. <laughs> Sit up. And pull skin this way so I can get all those folds. The right way. So what I like to do is now when I get to <laughs> A little piece more right there, huh? <laughs> now when I get to like in between her eyes here, I'm going to go ahead and go right in between the eyes and come down towards her nose. Try to avoid going too far up into her where her eyes are. Because I just feel like that doesn't look very good. Um, but you want them to have a nice expression on their face. So I'm probably gonna go a little bit higher than that. But once again, she's my poodle. She's not a show poodle. So, yeah. You look at my hand. <laughs> Good. 
good girl. So I'm gonna take and pull back her skin a little bit here and pull down. And once again, it does not hurt her. She's just feeling the vibration of the clippers. You wanna avoid that tongue. You don't wanna cut your tongue. So. And sometimes I can squeeze, I can squeeze her mouth shut. It's funny. Squeeze her mouth shut so she does not open her mouth and lick. Because I do not want to cut that tongue. Good. Good girl. Yeah. Let's go down a little bit further. There you go. That's where I want it. Good girl. I want to see your expression, boo boo. Come here. Good. Here you are. There you are. There's your eye. Huh. <laughs> All right. So we're looking pretty good here. All right. So now I'm going to come up underneath her chin to get this area down here. So I'm going to start right here behind the ear. And we're gonna come up. Good girl. Good girl. And we're just gonna come on up. And slow and steady. And easy does it. And this is looking really good. Okay, now we're gonna take a moment and we're gonna check our clipper blades. If they feel like they're getting a little hot, you can either switch your clipper blade um, to a cooler blade. I have another 10, I can switch it, or I can use my cool shot and cool down the clipper blade like that. So that's what, exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take it over here. I'm gonna spray it down. I'm gonna cool it off a little bit. And then I'm gonna go again, because if you, if you continue to clip your dog with a hot, hot clipper blade, what's gonna happen is that you are going to burn your dog. You don't wanna do that. All right. Joey, you're looking good, girl. Looking good, girl. Okay. Um, so now we're gonna go from the bottom again. And I usually, I don't know if you can see or not, but I usually do a V with her cut. As a typical poodle cut, you go in a V shape. And I'll just do that for you. I'll outline that, that V shape. I can go down and get my V shape. Good. And come up. Good girl. Yeah. Yes, go ahead and get that V shape in. Looking pretty, Jolie. Typical poodle face. Go down. <laughs> Your ears are so long. You know, if you have a doodle or a um, a poodle that you just don't want her face clipped down this short, that's okay. Um, you can do the same thing, just uh, with a longer blade. <laughs> okay. Okay, baby girl. Good girl. So I'm check my clipper blade again. We're still good. And I think we're going to go ahead and maybe move on to the other side. Um, there is one thing I wanted to show y'all. So on this side of the mouth, you see how there is these little tufts of hair that get caught up underneath her lip. We need to get these out here and here. Um, and in order to do that, you can pull her lip, their lips back to be able to shave it like that. Or you can put your thumb in there and hold them back like this <laughs> and hold it back like that to be able to clip that out. But this right here needs to be clipped out. 
It's gonna grow up and it'll get into their teeth and rot their teeth. And that's what gives them stinky breath. So we don't want stinky breath. So, and rotten teeth, that's nasty, huh? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to clip that out. So you can pull it back like that. Get it shaved. Okay, I hope y'all could see that. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make a line straight from the bottom of the ear to the corner of the eye with our clippers. pretty good checking my clipper it's feeling hot so let's go ahead and switch that clipper blade out or spray it and she is looking fabulous y'all oh gorgeous girl but do you see how the number 10 blade it's short enough you don't need to go all the way to 30 it's um it's not giving her too much of a rash or irritation and this will go away in like a few hours um, it is not any kind of uh, razor burn or anything, so um, she just can't go any closer than a 10. She has very fair skin, huh, my lady? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pull back that lip again, and I oh know, I know it's weird. <laughs> trim up the rest of her face a little bit more um she is. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Now your face is all shaved. Now it's time to do a top knot and ears. Okay guys, so I'm back. Um, I also wanna show you how to trim up her tail area and, um, and her butt area back here. Um, so now that we've done her face, I'm also gonna use a number 10 blade on this back end area. You can see where I have trimmed before, where the hair is longer and where I have trimmed. So you can either make a V, same as the chest, um, mark in the tail, or you can just do a straight back. Once again, she is my dog. She's not a show dog. And I just do a straight back motion for her tail. Um, preferably because I really don't care. Uh, but I do like her tail short to, you know, um, uh, not catch any uh, feces that may fall on her fur. So um, once again, my blade is nice and cooled off now. So I've had time to uh, wait. So I'm going to show you how I clip up her tail. So start where the line is that I've had before. 
That's usually where my guide is and that's where I start. And I go up towards her back. Good girl, Jolie. Jolie does not seem to mind at all. Um, once again, like I've mentioned in other videos, I've been grooming her since she has been about eight weeks old or so, uh, ever since I've had her. Um, just wanted her to get used to being groomed and not have those freak out moments because I knew, you know, when she's a small puppy, uh, they're easier to kind of control and, and to teach them not to misbehave on the table um, for grooming. Once they're older and this size, um, it will be very difficult to try to control a wild, out of control poodle who's never been groomed before. Um, so definitely start your puppies early in the groomings and it helps a ton. Okay, so now that I've gotten up to the top part, um, I usually just kind of go up, pull her tail down, and I go up. And that's her, that's how I do her tail. Now, once again, you could just pull the tail down like that and go in a V motion like this and like this and get that nice little V cut. But, um, but I just like the straight cut. So if you go like this and like this, you can get a nice V shape into her tail. But this is good for me. So now I'll come back down a little bit. Make sure it's nice and clean. All these clean lines. Get her underneath portion. Very careful of her butt. You do not want to hit that. Be very aware of it. And just kind of work around it. But you do need to get it cleaned up so she doesn't have any any poo-poo that's stuck to her when she goes outside the potty. Or your dog too. Okay, that looks great. Tail's all nice and trimmed up. Looks very lovely. Matches your face. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next video.